Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's Lovely World. And in the last video to my right, we started building the Flower Power game. Here it is. We've got uh, uh, the sort of the inside of the flower pots mostly done. We did the redstone and uh, oops. And uh, yep. So uh, I did my homework. I did the other uh, the other uh, flower uh, and flower pot here. Uh, I also put in the floor. You, you may or may not have done that uh, yet, but um, feel free to uh, to go ahead and put that floor in. Uh, you're definitely going to need that. And in fact, before I do anything else and forget, I'm going to change out these uh, these doorways here. So these should be brown uh, wool as well on both of them. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is uh, we're not going to be able to get to finish this today, unfortunately. Boo! I hear the booing already. Um, it's going to take one more video, I think, because uh, we'll, we'll get the, the wooden uh, parts done, you know, the, the places where you walk around and stuff like that. Uh, then we've got this huge tree that we're going to have to build, and there's a monkey inside, and we've got the flowers and uh, some, some uh, what do you call it, um, um, street lamps and uh, some other details in the little observation area up here. So there, there's a, there really is a lot to do, so uh, let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do, actually, to make this easier and... Um, yeah, to make it easier, let's let's just uh, let's just remove all this uh, grass completely. We'll leave everything uh, kind of hovering in in the air as as it is. Uh, but let's remove all this grass. And uh, apparently, in the process of this, we've uh, we've unleashed uh, several several bats. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Good day, Bruce. And uh, hello, Bruce and Bruce and hello, Bruce over there. And also a uh, mushroom. The mushroom cow has uh, has joined us in here. Apparently, we have got the uh, a little bit of grass growing there, which is kind of odd, but um, yeah, apparently the uh, the mushroom decided that uh, they'd be uh, queuing up for for a game, a tournament with us. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really uh, sure what team. I guess he wants to be on the red team. I guess that would be the red team he'd want to be on. So he's waiting around for us to uh, to finish this. So uh, let's not disappoint. So we have to be. All right, now let's see. I have to orient myself correctly. We're going to actually kind of start in the middle, and we're going to leave we're going to leave this open, completely open for right now, uh, until we build uh, this first bit here. Uh, so we're going to start with kind of the uh, the lowest point, and then we're going to kind of work our way uh, up. Uh, so if we're on the yellow side, you know, if we're facing the yellow side, then the the pit that goes down is is here on this side, uh, that's nearest to the uh, uh, the uh, the Roadhog game there. So I'm going to grab, I've got some uh, sporos and some birch planks and stairs here. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to start with these. We're going to take our birch. We're going to build a, we're going to build a little tower here right in front of this Just a little tower birch right to, uh, yeah, right to there, right up to, uh, to the bottom of the colors there. And uh, then we're going to take our spruce sporos and do the same or I should say just put a uh, little stripe there on each side of that and that just that's uh, this kind of locks in this is the middle here and so what we need to do is go we're gonna put our wood again this is um there's three blocks here you know and then there's ground level so we're gonna put the bottom of the pit right on this surface that's down here so that's gonna make it nice and easy uh, so here we're going to let's see we're gonna extend this birch out Let's call it nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that I think that'll be fine. That should get the last one uh, covered up by stairs. And so we're gonna uh, also use the uh, spruce and just kind of run parallel because basically there's this you know uh, there's this theme where the um, uh, the the uh, <laughs> wow, I'm blanking. The birch. Here we go. The birch is kind of makes these like little stripes, and then the is accented on the edges by the uh, uh, spruce. So that's that's the way we're we're gonna go here. Uh, so this is gonna go across to here, and uh, now we want what we want to do is make some stairs going up. Uh, and we're gonna need something to put the stairs on. You can use. We can just keep using the wood. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little dirt uh, on each side of this. What we've just made. Uh, and I think that's going to help uh, my process. So uh, we're going to grab our spruce stairs, and there's going to be two spruce, two, yeah, two birch, and two spruce again. So we want to uh, keep going until this reaches here. Uh, but I can tell you right now, we're going to need um, a little bit more. Oh, I'm sorry. This is, uh, look at this. 
I've made stairs here and I've I'm, I've gotten a little ahead of myself here. This has to be there has to be a little recessed area here. So uh, first we're going to take our spruce and we're going to put actually we're going to use our birch first right here uh, on top of that and just bring that up to the floor level. Uh, then we're going to put one little tower of spruce there. Do the same thing on the other side. I already have my spruce. I'll just start with that three high and the birch. There we go. So now now we've got something that looks. Uh, looks like this. Okay, that's good. Uh, this will all get filled in up here. We'll, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Uh, so now, okay, now I can put the stairs down. So it should be, should have tipped me off. There should be six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, so we have two of those, two birch, two of those, and then this one is, yep, yeah, this is the extra one that I thought we'd have, but that way we have something underneath there. Uh, that's good here. So that's going to be uh, spruce. So let's just, let's just put three right on top of each other. So these uh, marks, that marks the edge of the staircase. Uh, so now, yeah, we have to build stairs, so it's easier to do building on something. So I'm just going to kind of quickly just build a sort of underlayment to the uh, to the stairs. And I think, I'm not sure how high I need to go. Oh, I shouldn't have to go in that quite that high anyway. Uh, so there should be three runs of stairs going up. So let's just see... Uh, this is the second one, then the third one gets you up to ground level. Yep, okay, that's good. Uh, so let's just add these here and there. So now I've got the stripe, and then we need to connect this uh, with some birch there, and uh, we might as well put that here. Oops, uh, so we're gonna need that uh, looking like this. So uh, now on the sides of the um, stairwell, there's gonna be more, more spruce, uh, so let's just go around you know what let's uh actually yeah let's finish one side then we'll do the other a little more quickly uh we can just bring that right up to that same uh, floor level there and then we have to just put one row behind here and it's going to also have that integrated uh birch like that so that'll be like this and then over here again uh just to uh not tidy this up you really probably don't need you know birch quite that deep <laughs> to get the job done but it's just easier to kind of show you that way so this is what we want to end up with perfect uh, so let's do the same thing on this side. Let's see if I can do it a little better. Uh, I'm going to build what I need for the stairs first. Let's see. The first stair is going to go there. So the second stair is going to go on here. And the third stair is going to go on top of this. Okay, that'll be that'll be easier to do it that way. So we do two there. We'll do two on that side. Let's just, you know, I'm just going to do all the, uh, the spruce first. And then I'll come back and fill in with the the birch. There's a lot of techniques. You use different ones. And okay, so let's just fill this in with some spruce, just like we did there. And then this goes across to Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> Bruce, where'd you go, buddy? I'm talking to you over here. I was just talking to the bat, of course. I was not mispronouncing the word of uh, the wood that I'm using. Oops, uh, put that there like that. And uh, oh, well, okay, so we've got a little extra here anyway, so let's just get this out of the way and uh, do what we did over here. Just make the sides for the stairs with the spruce again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oop. There we go. Uh, is that as far as I need to go? It doesn't really matter. You don't you know, actually technically have to bring it out quite that far. Um, it's going to end up getting covered up anyway, so that's okay, but that just makes it a little easier to explain. So now we've got this little bowl down here, and uh, it's uh, obviously right in the middle, and our redstone is not interfering with this at all, so that's uh, that's really what we want. So if, if, you, if you ran this redstone here, we'd start probably running into trouble, or obviously over here. So if you did, if this is too close, or you're right on top of your redstone uh, trail, just, uh, you know, just kind of like bring it out this way and over that way. You're not going to run into anything over here. There's nothing to worry about uh, on this side. This is um, assuming you've dug this out. And uh, there's the, there he is, Mr. Mushroom. Yes, he's in the, uh, uh, also the inspector, apparently, with his cold dead eyes inspecting uh, all my hard work super that's awesome uh okay so we've got to they got this bowl uh so now to make, need to make stairs coming out going this way and the first ones are going to be on top of here uh so let's see the next ones i'm just gonna use my dirt and start piling up a little bit here just like i did uh the rest of the way around and so we're gonna go around here and start with it should be just uh yeah there we just want to always keep lining up these stripes make sure everything um, matches up uh, that's one of the key design elements uh, for the game 
Uh, so that's going to go up to there. And uh, so, oh, uh, let's see. I'm seeing at the top here. This actually should be should be all spruce. Is that right? One, two. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is all. I mean, um, birch. This, the top one is completely birch. And let's see. All right. So for the sides, we have a. Yeah, we've got this is spruce. The first one is spruce all the way up. Uh, and then the next one, yeah, is birch. And there we go. Yeah, see how that fits perfectly against there? No problem. And even here, you could, you don't really need all this. You could, you know, get rid of this if you had to and, you know, snake something under there if you really wanted to. But that's okay. We just, uh, it's going to leave it as, as is. So uh, we're going to leave that like that. Uh, and then this hallway we can do... Let's see here. Oh, look, he's inspect now he's inspecting the electrical. He's inspecting the the redstone. That's great. It's very interesting. He's following me around. Okay. Anyway, so uh, we're going to just put uh, four of the birch like that. And uh, we're going to leave that empty like that. Now this, this is the part that goes straight over to uh, like where the tree is. So for here, we're going to go uh, uh, on the edge. We're going to switch back to spruce. Or, yeah, spruce. Bring it over to... How far? far do I need to uh, let's see this is four blocks the tree is four blocks wide well uh, I'll tell you what, we'll just we'll bring it all the way over to here just for the minute just until we build the tree just that, that way we know um, we can just knock it out later uh, and put the rest in all right so let's just bring this path back to here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there and just fill in with the uh, birch and we are moving along here must be the pressure I'm getting from all the Mr. Inspector down there. You having fun down there, buddy? Oh, he he he, he moved at me, I think. Uh, okay, so this is moving over to there, and that's there. And let me just kind of take a bird's eye view here. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Uh, this is good. That's good. And over here. Okay. All right. So uh, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to build a little bit more of this uh, of this wood here. We want this. If we're looking at this birch, we want this this birch line of birch to be a total of seven. So we've already got one. So we're going to add two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we want to make the the birch next or the spruce next to it uh, the exact same length for now. Uh, you could go a little longer, uh, but it's it's going to go underneath. Um, the, the little, there's a part that goes up with some ladders, uh, but that's okay for now. Uh, so what did I say? Seven. So this should be one. Actually, I'm just going to count this off here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, uh, even if you make this a little long, it's not going to, not going to cause any problems. And there should be three sticking out there. And that's that. And okay, good. All right. So now we've got this part done uh, and th that brings us everything up to floor level. So at this point now we can add, you know, the green and the lime green stripes uh, all the way across and then we can um, uh, be set with the floor with the only the only change being that we're going to have to come back and swap this out for logs of uh, spruce uh, eventually, which reminds me before we I'm going to need to have something underneath when we do that. So we might as well just go ahead and I'm just going to put a little, little dirt under here. Uh, so when we knock that out, we can um, do that properly. Uh, keep those logs oriented the way they're supposed to. Uh, and yes, okay, that'll be fine. Uh, okay, so now let's. Uh, now we have to get this. Uh, we have to get this right. Uh, the stripes are. Uh, they they go a certain way in a certain order, and it'll it won't really matter if you you know it'll still look good even if you got it backwards. Um, that's okay. Uh, but we're going to start on the red end because that's where my I have my map, and I'm going to get my. Mm, we're going to get some lime green, some green. There we go. Uh, so we're going to start with lime green on this side. Now each row is four. Um, yeah, here we want on the floor level. Each row is four, um, four rows of the, of whatever color it is you're working on. So it's four there, switch to the green, do four here. A little speed potion would help you, obviously. Uh, for that, two, three, four, get you right to the edge of that. And one, 
two, and it's just gonna go all the way across. Two, 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 I don't wanna lose my space. Two, three, and uh, then a fourth one, uh, and so forth, all the way across. So I'm just gonna uh, get my helper to uh, finish the floor using that same pattern. And um, so, in, you know, just four blocks in each one. Bring it all the way across. When you run into this stuff, obviously stop there. Uh, oh, well, you know what? I, hmm. This is going to actually... I'm thinking that this is going to kind of mess up your pattern because you're not going to know. You're going to get to here, then you're like, well, how do I know how the pattern continues? I think he built the whole floor first and, and then went back and put this in, unlike, unlike us. Uh, so this is going to need to be... Well, it's going to be, it's a, yeah, so on the, on the yellow side, you're going to be going, um, you're going to start with the dark green. It's the opposite. So again, you know, same thing, it's four, four rows. Uh, so do that and just follow that pattern, starting with the dark green on the yellow side. Start with the light green or the lime wool, uh, lime on that side. And uh, so just bring everything, you know, and have it meet up uh, with this stuff right in the middle. And now it is starting to look like a proper flower power grid pattern now. This is good. All right, so we've got uh, starting with green on that side, starting with lime on the red side, uh, and then in between. So you should have, uh, there should be two stripes of the final color uh, on the side, and that, that would be it. So this is a, since this is an odd, uh, actually, no, this is even... No, let's see. The whole outside of the building is 50, so 25 to here um which is an odd number so you wouldn't work out anyway so this would be like one two three four one oh, i guess it would i guess it would i'll just shut up now okay anyway this is this is this is what you should have now perfect and um all right so let's build uh let's let's do some more uh woodwork shall we you know, let's see how much we can get done all right i'm gonna need to go back and grab some spruce perch and some stairs of the same types and let's see what are we going to build first uh, well, i'll tell you what let's go to the yellow side the left side of the yellow and uh, we're going to build the stairs that are going to go down uh it kind of goes down here and then goes down to down to there and uh, so let's see so it's going to start off with uh it's, it's these are three block wide stairs and oops <laughs> You have to kind of be facing a little more down there we go there and it's going to have the, again the stripe in the middle like that uh so let's just leave that there for just a second i'm going to grab my spruce and there's going to be a wall for the stairs uh that's going to uh, just go down there uh, as well that's going to come down three one two three to there and same thing here we're going to go right up against the glass it's cool no problem uh, okay, so this uh, then this is going to come out one, two, three in this direction. Total. Oh, uh, starting here. I'll tell you. What, let's just uh, let's just kind of build it as a staircase out. Uh, we'll. See, it should be the bottom. Uh, the bottom row should be. Yeah, the bottom row is going to be even with this yellow. So let's just call this. Let's just kind of build whatever we would need for the stairs to be here. So there and there. And squeak one in under here for the birch uh, spruce. Uh, underneath, it's gonna we can just do that. Uh, we can fill in. You know what? Let's just fill this. Oh, fill this in. And you know what? This is gonna be here, isn't it? No. All right. So we're gonna have stare here, stare here, stare, 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 stare. There we go. That's the ticket. So you should have one, two, three stairs. One, two, three. Oh. There's a fourth there, a fourth stair. Okay, right here. It's gonna bring you right down to. Oh, <laughs> silly. There we go. So the bottom is gonna be right there. Yeah, even with that, uh, like that. So then we're gonna use our planks uh, again, and just right up against the glass here. Uh, we're just gonna kind of turn the corner with the uh, spruce, put a little stripe of birch in there, and do that. Uh, so that's gonna be our our turning point there. Uh, so now we just have to have stairs that go to the ground and just so select our stairs we're just going to bring them straight down I get, we can kind of point at this oh no that's not going to work point at the glass so that would sort of work uh, and then if we do this 
Uh, or you could put stuff under under the stairs to make this a little easier. Sometimes I like to do things easy. Sometimes I'm just too stubborn for my own good. There we go. All right, so now we're down to the stairs like that. Uh, and then underneath the stairs, we're going to continue that stripe down here. And again, right to the ground here. Oh, on the outside. Yeah, on the outside, this is all just going to be... We want to have birch or um, spruce, excuse me, throw, showing through here. Uh, and then you won't need to see anything else in there. Uh, so let's fill this up with spruce here and here. And yeah, the rest of this gets to be spruce. Uh, and then we're going to use upside down stairs here. Kind of does that. Oop, there we go. Uh, as well as on this side too. Yep, okay, this side too. And there we go. That's that's how that should look. There'll be eventually be a block of dirt with a flower uh, right about there. Um, actually, exactly right there. Uh, so we'll just leave that uh, detail for later. So this is uh, what that side one's going to be. Now, the, the great part about this build is that um, it's it's a mirror image. So, and I didn't say exact. Uh, it, it, it's a mirror. It's not, you know, the flipped. It's not like... Uh, there's a, a stair on the left here, and if we turn around, it's going to stay on the left here. The stair's going to be on the right on this side, and the stair's going to be, you know, the other uh, balcony part's going to be on that side. Uh, so this, just to, rem you know, remember that if you go try to get ahead of me, you're going to be, make sure it's a mirror image and not an exact duplicate of what you've just done. If that makes any sense to you, uh, I hope it does. Uh, so that's, that's that. Uh, so then on this side, uh, we go down... Just one step, so we're just going to grab our, oh, there I go again, putting right side, upside down steps there. We're supposed to be right side up. Uh, bring it right there, so we're going to use our spruce planks. Uh, I'm just going to draw a line straight across here, and then put a birch, and then another spruce right there. And, uh, oh, but we have to make this kind of turn the corner, so we have to uh, do this. There we go. So that's just going to be... You know, the line of spruce is going to be right up against the wall there. Uh, so we're going to turn this way. And this is actually going to go, this is going to actually go for, for a good little stretch. Uh, over, right over, t almost to the middle. Uh, let's see, we're going to bring it, mm -hmm, bring it all the way over to here. And it looks like on the, th yeah, S yeah, we'll leave it here. The three, three blocks of glass, leave those there. Uh, and then we're just going to fill in with uh, one row of the birch and one more row of the of the spruce. Okay. Uh, so then right here is the part where the, there's like these ladders going up. And uh, so we're just going to use, a, you know, again, the same pattern, alternating this with this. And then we'll, we'll need to change that one out as well. And leave that like that. Uh, and then grab some ladders. Bring them all the way up to the top. It's nice having three ladders next to each other. I think he does that because otherwise you, you could easily fall off. More easily fall off, I should say. Uh, so that's uh, going to take care of that. Uh, so on this side of it, though, we you know we can't leave this hollow exactly uh, from the side of the windows. Uh, you're just going to make this uh, spruce all the way up and so we're just covering up windows I'm kind of feeling a little cramped here there we go uh, but then here we're going to use one stripe of birch the exact same way in the center you want to fill it up with anything knock yourself out you don't have to you'll never see it uh okay so that's that's what that little tower is going to look like so now we've met up with uh what we've done earlier that's good uh so it should be uh, let's see, one, we want to leave six blocks of uh, window showing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then on the seventh, yeah, we're right here. Uh, we'll switch back to the spruce. We're going to bring this right up to here. But we want to, what we want to do is kind of start making steps uh, starting here. Uh, let's see, how's the best way to, you know what, I'm going to grab out my old diamond here so I know that it's something I have to get rid of. I'm just going to temporarily put some blocks here so I can easily get these stairs on here and there and there. And then we're going to go down one more. Oops, that still didn't help. Oh, come on. There we go. 
that one and that one and then we need to come down to right here we get this spruce blocks and uh, we're going to bring that just do you know two on this side two on the red side or whichever one you're on uh we're just going to link that up this the uh birch and uh put that like that and uh oh these two these middle two actually on this side that should be that should be birch because they're going to start heading in that direction so uh then under here let's get rid of these and uh, under here we're going to have the upside down stairs again uh it there and uh did i what's um right uh so now here i need to just uh, fill this in with some more birch in the middle there and then another line of spruce there now i can finish my stairs okay there we go that's that was the weird part there so now we have the upside down stairs in there and there but not over here don't ask me why there's none there <laughs> just it is the way it is okay so now we're actually we've actually done uh this half of the uh the stairs and the you know the kind of uh what do we call this the walkway how about that the walkway that goes this way and uh so that as i said do a mirror image of that over there because i'm gonna i'm gonna let you do that for your uh for your homework uh but this middle part we uh we're, we're gonna have to do this so from what we've already built here i'm gonna just use my spruce and we need to come out 12 from what we've already put on here so as long as you've got this last one here uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. Uh, and then we're just going to add two rows of the birch, and we'll do, put one more row of the spruce in. Now we'll have to, um, we're going to have to uh, uh, change the stairs a little bit here, or change these to, let's see, it's a, one leave these two spruce and then change these two uh, to birch because uh, we're going to have stairs they're going to do right here yeah so the stairs again are going to be six wide just like they were down below uh so let's see we're going to start up here do i want to i don't know do i want to start here <laughs> yeah we'll start up here just like we did the rest of them i'll file this up this way all right so there and there and there uh, I think you know how to build stairs, so just make sure that that this side is going to line up exactly uh, with this. And I'm going to just quickly uh, make some stairs here, some place for my stairs. Oh no, not there. I already have stairs there. And here, like that. Okay, that'll be good. That's uh, two there, two there. We'll just do my spruce first, and you'll see this lines up perfectly. Lovely, you could say lovely okay so that's the actual stairs uh, and then underneath we're gonna to, I'm gonna get rid of this and uh, we're just gonna continue we're gonna fill this in and continue the pattern of the uh, spruce and the birch uh, just to make this look nice uh, it's gonna be all let's see it's gonna be all spruce on the outside here we're gonna bring this so it's just even even with this and then just gonna keep uh, keep the pattern here and see we're, we're gonna have Birch here and here and here and spruce here and if there's yep we got a little triangle we got to fill in on this side uh, as well so that's why that's why that birch that's why that plank there and this one are birch it looks a little weird uh, and then on the sides so that there's a uh, birch there and there I think when he first started building it he didn't quite do that that it was a later detail that I think he uh filled in there so okay all right great so now we just want to build a staircase going up at this point so i'm going to take my i'm going to take my diamond and we're going to have to build the stairs are going to be you know floating the first ones are going to be floating so i'm going to put that there to make sure that's easy to, to get and it's going to kind of build my way up to here and how many steps do i need i don't think i need too many more here uh, i just need to come out let's try one more uh we need four at the top one two uh, two three four to the wall okay that's fine so when we're done this will this will meet up right with the uh the tree trunk which is four blocks wide uh which i haven't really talked about yet uh but it is and so we're just going to keep following the pattern here uh, let's do our little birch in the middle <laughs> and 
stairs here, here, and then we'll get rid of our diamond and replace it with more upside down stairs. Uh, yep, we don't need this anymore. Do -do -do. This is coming along nicely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm glad, really glad I didn't promise you that this would be the last video because this has taken actually a little bit longer uh, than I was probably hoping. Uh, so at this point, I, I did I verify this is four blocks away from the edge. One, two, three, four. There's something looks funny here. There's five here. There should be a total of five stairs going up. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, okay. Then I, need, I guess I need another one. Total of five uh, stairs. Let's finish this up here. Doo, doo. There we go. All right. Now I can get rid of these. There we go. Yeah, we just want to make sure your four, your last staircase is four blocks away uh, from there. So now we're just going to put some upside down stairs on the bottoms of these. And that just kind of finishes off this part here. In fact, I'm just going to, oops, do it this way and there. And sometimes I like to switch. Sometimes I like to do all of one color or material at the same time or you just never know. So now the stairs kind of look like that. Uh, from oh, they look exactly like that uh, from the side. So uh, we need also need some fences on the side of this. Uh, so right over here, we're going to put uh, not there, but one, two, three, four, five, six, and same thing over here, uh, like that. Help keep people on there. The stairs are going to go down on this side. So now we've essentially um, built half of it, and I'm going to let you build the other half. Uh, for your homework, and I'm just going to put these here, just so, just as a reminder to myself that that is supposed to be planks or um, logs. We'll, we'll get to that uh, where the tree is built in the next episode. So that's essentially half of it. So, like I said, do a mirror image, mirror image. So the, the that staircase is going to be replicated on that side. This whole thing is going to be replicated on that side. I, I can't stress that enough. You'll fi quickly figure out that something has gone wrong uh, if you do otherwise. Uh, but definitely just remember to you know get these details of the upside down stairs. Uh, that is critical there. Oh, you know what? In here, we didn't quite finish this off, did we? Uh, this just follows the same pattern going up. And with this in the middle. And uh, so then from here... Uh, same thing that we just built on the other side. Like I said, just uh, continue, you know, do exactly what we did over here, uh, just backwards. Uh, yep, and you'll be in good shape. Uh, okay, so I'm going to let you do that homework. I know it seems like a lot of homework. I've done a lot of homework. You're probably thinking like, oh, I'm copping out. I'm not going to do the rest. But it's it, literally, it's the exact same thing over there. You're going to be able to do that. Uh, it'll be a good experience to, to get that right. So once you, you know you've met up, you know, to this point, you know, you've got your stairs. You should have you should have two steps uh, going up to here. You could kind of start from here and go work around over there, and however you want to do it, uh, knock yourself out. So uh, then, in the next video, we'll um, we'll have all that homework done. Uh, then we should be able to finish up in the next video. We just have to uh, kind of you know do some details in here, torches all around. Uh, we'll do the tree, and uh, we've got a little observation. Uh, platform that goes up here so uh, and some street lamps down here so we got a few details to work out uh, and that'll give us that'll get, that, that'll be keep us pl plenty busy uh, in the next video so hopefully that will uh, be the last uh, one for this one so in the meantime I'm Darwin 68 thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye